right off, right off, right off, right off, right off, right off. I think it's I think it's all a part of uh the whole smoke and mirrors, bro. Like America is full of so many smoke and mirrors that we put up to try and hide what's really going on. What's really I mean, but though that's an actual like real smoke and mirror. I think you know what I'm saying a lot of folks think like you know there's some sort of conspiracy going on in the background and it's not. It's this shit right here. It's this misinformation that's being spread by folks who want you to believe the wrong thing. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like that's a part like that's the smoke. That's the smoke and mirrors to to keep motherfuckers from seeing in reality this virus is killing a bunch of people. I saw something interesting on Facebook. Uh I saw uh a oh, far white or oh, far right. Like, I'm sorry, not far white. Even though he is far and white. And white, you know, but, I could I could <laughs> I could assume as much, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? But, but this far right guy had posted something saying that when H1N1 hit America in 2009, it infected 60, 60 million people, which was true. It infected 60 million people, and we didn't close schools, we didn't wear masks, and we didn't go on lockdown. And the first thing that I looked up was the death toll on how many people died in each each so-called pandemic. Only 12,000 people died from bird flu. Only tw- uh, 60 million people caught it. Only tw- 12,000 exactly. people died. One of the main issues is, bro, especially with folks our age, is that we really don't research anything in True. terms of, like, things that have real historical meaning. We don't sit down and really do our digging on, you I know? I don't think history means as much to people in our generation. Bro, think about our parents' generation or maybe the boomers. They went to the moon. True. And then true. fast forward, bro, we have flat earthers. How? When 30 years ago, people went to the moon. But, I mean, that's it, that's I think it's all that smoke and mirrors, bro. Just like eight years ago, Joe, we loved Joe Biden. And now Joe Biden is a rapist and all of this, that, and the third. Yeah, but how are we able to be influenced so easily? Like, What's the issue? Is it social media? To me, the issue is the lack of regulation of social media because there needs to be a regulation on social media, bro. Like, that's something that needs to be added into laws and into constitutions at this point. You've seen Facebook and Twitter go around putting fact checkers on things. And you've seen people complain about that, saying, oh, it eliminates free speech or they're trying to censor, censor me. What do you think about that? That's, I mean, there's a there's a difference between censoring you from saying something and and checking the facts of what the fuck you're saying. Because when I see something on Facebook that says 60 million people is have caught H1N1, but we didn't do X, Y, and Z, unless I'm smart enough to go look up and do a little research and, and really see and compare the numbers, I'll just believe that crazy ass shit. And and before I know it, I'll be out here saying, hey, I don't need a mask. Hey, I don't need this. I don't need that. When in reality, you do. I mean, but like, bro, since when did we start believing everything on the Internet? You grew up, me and you both grew up kind of in like a, a good time because the Internet was really starting to get its oomph. Yeah. You know we, what I'm saying? We, we were there in the a, beginning. Uh, you know, like a commercial product, yeah. business product of being a true household product. So okay. we really grew up with the Internet and hearing shit like. Don't believe anything you hear on the internet, and everything you 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 see on the internet is needs false. Needs to be questioned. Do you remember that yeah, though? Yeah, yeah. Like everyone, I, I, what that I was twenty years ago. What bro. I don't understand is a lot of these. A lot of us have went to college, and the first thing the first thing that they teach you in college is how to do research and double check to make sure that the information that you're using is 
correct. So much so to where professors used to say, okay, if this isn't from a .gov or was it a .edu or some official website, I can't, I can't take this shit seriously. You can't take it. Yeah, you couldn't. Yeah, you couldn't use it. You couldn't cite it as a source. Yeah. But so why is it that that but, that? But what about the folks? We know people our age who didn't go to school. They yeah. still grew up in the same era of. Don't believe what you see on the internet. But what? But what changed, bro? What were their parents telling them? We all got told the same thing. You know, you 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 know what I'm saying. Uh, the internet bro, was like, kind of you know weird. The like, internet was kind of weird for the boomers. We know boomers. Like, growing they still up, don't bro, know like, a lot about the internet. Well, okay. So your parents, you gotta understand. Your your parents are a little bit older than everybody else's parents, bro. So like, yeah, my mom is my mom is in her forties now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, so yeah, your mom grew out of grew up at a time where having the internet in her home wasn't w- always a thing. Was not always a thing. Yeah. Wasn't even considered rational for until, some people uh, uh, yet. Until the '90s, really. Until the later '90s, yeah. where it became a true household product. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of them still grew up with the with the process of, you know, don't believe what you see on the internet. And then we grow up hearing that same thing, and then. When we're adults, it's I get all of my information from Facebook or I get all of my news from Twitter. And I just don't understand how can you get all of your news from a social media platform where you know people are just going to say whatever they want. This is based on the fact that you grew up on the pretense of don't believe what you read on the Internet. Like, And then you fast forward 20 years to I get all of my news from the Internet, not from your local news station, not from a newspaper. I get all of my news just, from it. The, and not just the Internet. A social media platform. Right. It's already questionable to get information from the internet in, Ex- in itself. In itself. And then you're saying that you're getting it from some from a from a place that is made to Spew use propaganda. Yeah, basically. That's what it is. It's it's made at first it was created to to connect the world, but now it's it's used to control the thoughts and minds of the masses. And you do that by spreading this this crazy ass shit like Joe Biden's a rapist, like Pizza Gate, and and Wayfair. Exactly, like, but like, how can you how can you think that this shit is so true because you've seen a couple of videos on YouTube? Because we live in a world where everyone can live in their own reality, bro. Yeah, yeah. Everyone has their own bubble. Everyone has their own bubble. Yeah. I mean, we can all disagree on facts now, even things that we all used to take. <clears throat> excuse me. As okay, this is just a common known fact, like slavery, for like example, like slavery, or that the earth is round. That's and and that one still blows my mind, bro. Like, how can you think the earth is flat? If Be, the earth was flat, a lot of China folks, would get would get daytime the same time we would get daytime. I mean, it's it's shit like that that's just so simple to break down. But bro, you're a smart man. You take pride in that shit, bro. Folks our age don't take pride in that. Nigga, they take pride in TikTok videos and the new dances. <sighs> Nigga, they don't take pride in that. Well, I speak about the moon a lot just because it's cool as hell, but bro, think about that, bro. All oh, those were government workers. True. Bro, no one got rich doing that. No. They were they were on a yearly salary. You know what I'm saying? No one got rich doing that, bro. That was all for the greater good of mankind. All of that happened for the greater good of mankind. <sighs> And fuck it. I think I think we'll have this conversation. I think that goes back to individualism has killed first off humanity. I agree. Okay, as a whole, individualism has killed uh, humanity. More specifically for us, individualism destroyed the black community. I mean, and and I'll and I'll take it so far as let's talk about our rap music. Okay. All right. When you both love, like, nigga, I'm a heavy trap nigga. Like, Push I, on. I love, I love some trap rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I rap is me. And in rap, all I ever hear is get the money, worry about myself, fuck bitches, fuck hoes, fuck everybody else. That's the bro, like, that's promoting individualism, which has caused everyone to not want to. Do their research. No one wants to even care about what's going on with the nigga that lives next door to them. Why would they, bro? I'm look at this. Our generation, and we can even talk about the rap. A lot of things you're hearing rap is, you know, trying to shit on the next person. Yeah. I'm up, you not. Right. I'm rich, you broke. Right. And that's how our generation thinks, bro. Everyone just wants to be rich. 
They don't give a fuck about the next person. Um, matter of fact, they want to shit on the next person. Yeah, and that's just you see a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? Like let's just let's just call a spade a spade. How many yeah. motherfuckers you know right now on their social media campaigns? You know what I'm saying? Trying to shit on folks. That's we'll even the goal. cap to even make it look like they shitting on somebody. Uh, or you see shit like, oh, I know my old bitch salty. Or, oh, I know my old nigga salty. Like, you see that sort of shit, but that's the sort of shit our generation looks forward to. Looks forward to. Like, that's the sort of yeah. shit that, that, that we're living, that we like doing. Yeah. It's likes. not about the next person. It's mm. about shit. Not only am I trying to come up, nigga, I'm trying to be up so much. It ain't even close between me and the next nigga. How many, how many niggas you know who think like that right now? Everybody. I want to be up so much, bro. Won't even won't even bring your ass along with him. That's how much they want to be up, yeah. and be that nigga. Yeah, that is, that's a lot of people. And that is that whole crab in the bucket syndrome, bro. I feel like that's 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 really all you know. If, yeah. if you could explain it, if you could explain crab in the bucket syndrome, right, I think we right. just did. So the yeah yeah, and I mean the crab in the bucket syndrome, bro. Is I always said that was one thing that killed the black community, and even more specifically you know humanity as a whole because it that crab in the bucket has caused people to to hate people over the color of their skin you know what i'm saying like over over a financial status that just doesn't make sense to me another part of the problem is we we don't we, we follow rules and we don't know how the fuck these rules have been set i mean we could if we looked them up and even in the black community we give ourselves that sort of thing or you know you know the game rigged, or you know we don't we don't really know what's all going on. Why, why not? We all got phones now. Yeah, and that's and see that's my thing. My mama used to always tell me you gotta know the rules so you know how to break them, bro. Oh, me and it's so many African Americans and so many people in general who have not taken the time to learn the rules. Prime example: a lot of people here in America don't don't even understand that if you don't own property, you technically aren't a full American. Based on based on our constitution, well, you, I mean, you I mean, you you have to own land or some sort of property here in America to to reap all of the benefits of being of being called an American citizen. In some ways, that is true, but you got to be careful there. Okay, I mean, you know, you got to be really careful there. You got to really cut that one with a knife, almost, because in some ways, yes, in order for you to reap the full benefits of our American society and how our legislation is set up. You got to own land. You have to own some sort of land. Yeah. And, and, and I agree with that. However, there are numerous other things due to socialism, which has always been around, mm -hmm. that has extended that arm down to everyone else. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Due to all the policies and procedures we have in America, you do not necessarily have to own land to be an American citizen and get the benefits that the American economy to has to some offer. Of, some of the benefits, yeah, okay. You know. Okay. And that's due to socialism. But why, so if, if socialism has done so much for people as a whole, why is it so frowned upon now? What changed? Because people are greedy. Mm. Socialism takes socialism takes other people's money. Everybody got to give. Everyone has to give. Boy, there's some rich folks out there who don't want to give anything. You know, our president didn't pay taxes for a long time. That's why he don't want you to see his. his yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why he don't want you to see uh, his tax returns because he don't pay them, or he pays very little. Mm. A whole bunch of rich people don't pay taxes. Mm. That's the issue. I will say this: the great. The Great New Deal, FDR, want to know what funded all that? An increase, a tax hike on the rich. Yeah. They were paying almost 50% in taxes. That's what got us all of our roads, yep. all of our bridges, yep. all of our dams, all of our mine infrastructure. Yeah. And, and that's what it's going to take. But think about this, bro. Like, we people loved, people loved FDR so much that they elected him to be president four times four times the american government had money to employ a humongous workforce one that has never been matched ever again we were able to build so many civil works projects in that time i mean we needed funding and socialism or 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 a socialist way of thinking got us that think about this we used to have unions job unions who would fight for the people 
That's where unions that's how barely exist. That's how the boomers got all their pensions. They had unions back then to go in and fight for the people. Now, yeah. whenever me and you want to go get a job, we're going to be contract workers first. Ain't no union fine for us. Nope. Nope. Uh, we, we're, we're contract workers. You know, every all of us are, are on contracts now. Well, you heard the White House press secretary said, you know, she doesn't want science to get in the way of this. You know, it, it seems like, you know, nowadays, especially in our country, we've gotten away from science. We don't really care about facts, which I, I don't understand. Reality. I don't understand this whole I think everything is is so clouded now, bro. Like it's all it's so many it's so much smoke and mirrors that everyone forgets what the actual message is. But is it really clouded, bro? Like, look at like, look at this. All three of us in here have degrees. So we all have some sort of comprehension skills. You know what I'm saying? We all are able to sit down, and read things, understand things, and for the most part, figure out what's going on. We should definitely know about where we live. We should know a lot about the U.S. political structure. If you have a degree, you went to college. But I'm going to say this. Me and you and Jay, probably you too, we all know some people who graduated from college who are dumb as fuck. And that's the issue. That's why everything is so clouded and so de- delusional. Because but I got- feel like that's a choice. You know, like you had every opportunity to actually learn. You know, to actually use your critical thinking skills. You feel me? Actually, like analyze the world. But was it cool though? Because I mean, like, wasn't cool to a whole bunch of niggas, bro. But I mean, like, it doesn't even have to be cool. You feel me? Like we all take genetics. Like yeah, we all got our degrees in different areas of education for sure. But at the end of the day, you still had to take a psych class. You still had to take a social class. Still had to take a science class. Yeah, but you know? did some but, sort of economic class. Yeah, but, like you still had to, they, you still had to look at politics. I had but, to take a poli sci. But did they shit, try man. and ret- retain it, bro? You know what I'm saying? Or like, did they cheat? That's a. I mean, what was that little thing you get online and look up the little Quizlet, 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 Quizlet. Quizlet. I mean, I mean, Quizlet all the time. I ain't gonna lie. I use. We Quizlet. all know there are ways to get around. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I didn't. I didn't skate through a few courses, but yeah, even but still, I made sure you I did a little bit of research, though. Yeah, you still know a little bit of what's going on. You know, because say even even if you just went in class and texted all day, you at least heard it in the back of your brain. So what's going on there, fellas? Motherfuckers just don't care. Why we have all this misinformation on our social media platforms coming from young people? Because. People, Why can we not agree people on people are a easily influenced by social media? I think I think that's actually the point that we're at, where social media has now become become a weapon that that is used to influence the masses. You know, at it's first a, it's a real weapon. Yeah, at first social media was meant for a way to connect people around the world, but people quickly turned that into how can I control as much of the world as I can through this. I mean, we have proof that Russia, you know, intervened in our election through social media. You know that, Nino, because you're a smart man and you're ahead of your time. Think about how many people you know right now who are still oblivious to that fact. I think people need to. That our social media platforms were were hacked. Not only hacked, but we were misled. On purpose. On purpose. They say TikTok got some shit going. But did you re- did you let me let me? Speak I didn't about read TikTok. everything on that. I'm gonna say that. But I never had a TikTok because I never fuck with it. No way. I'm gonna speak on TikTok. TikTok is not is not unlike all the other apps. They can all spy on you. Technically, we're having some Facebook foreign, does it some foreign policy issues um, with Hong Kong, China. That's where TikTok. You know what I'm saying? That's where their headquarters is. Some other countries have banned it. We just jumped on the list. It's not any more dangerous than Facebook. Twitter, Snapchat, all of them take your location. Yeah, because I mean, at the end of the day, nobody's really reading that privacy agreement. You know, we just nobody, in that box. Nobody is, and but the and, main and speaking thing to is, that point too, I also think that uh, back to what Malik was saying. I mean, Nina was saying the problem with social media. A lot of people we just retweet the shit and don't really read the article. We just retweet the headline, but hoping somebody that? else will read it. I don't know. I mean, time, just to prove a point. You know, propaganda. We had it's it's about because that. people don't want to sit and read shit anymore, bro. That's or, a real problem. Microwave or, culture, you know, or like we want it quick. We want the headline. We want to just take it and run with it. Your own reality, reality though. though, you know, that's your own reality. Like folks can build their own reality off a headline exactly. without even reading the article to see what it says. You can just build your own reality nowadays, and people can run with it, whether it's true or not. Yeah, which I is know, fucked up. But I, know I mean, you know, of, like I know a lot of the black same shit happened with the witch trials. You know, like there were there weren't any documented witches. It was right. just hearsay, you know. They just bought the wrong information. 
That's a good point, Jay. That's I mean, this type of shit. Point. This type of shit happens. History repeats itself. You know, That's they say with point, Hitler the Nazis and shit. You know, it's just groupthink. You know, nobody really analyzes it. People just go with the flow. Everybody's like, you know, all that cheap theory shit. I feel the same way about that Pizzagate shit. Kanye was pushing the agenda that like, well, shit. If both the presidents are fucked up, we might as well vote for Kanye. Fuck it, get a black man a chance. It's like. Yeah, chance, so but no, I'm nigga. Say, I'm gonna say this, but no, nigga. He's either really, really stupid, or or he's a fucking genius. Okay, I, I'm gonna okay, keep saying okay. That. Well, Nino, I think you need to go down the list of his recent quotes from his political campaign, and you tell me what is genius about that. I'm not voting for shit. Kanye West. I'm not buying that. Let's shit. read. Let's read this. He needs to get back to rapping. Because not so to say many he people, to, you feel me? Like you're not to minimize the man, but. I don't want him in politics, Man, he's bro. a we bitch. We can say that. Somebody not, has to say I'm that. I'm not voting for him. I'm going to say that. I'm not voting for him. We need to say that shit. But, the, but, he's the, a bitch. but think about the scheme. Think about this scheme. What? If, if, just, just hear me out. If this was the scheme, think about this. He went, made everybody hate this nigga because he sided with Trump, right? Got in Trump's good graces. Got, got some of them red hats to like him a little bit. And then turns around and decides to run against Trump. He's not running against Trump. He's running. As He's running to take votes away from Joe Biden. But what? But that you is just said, that but you is just said that he, that he said if, up. if both presidents are fucked up. So his his whole running no, scheme. No, that, that's what motherfuckers is putting in his mouth to try to justify this bullshit because y'all don't have the the balls see, to cro- to call this grown but man. But you just said a that. Bitch. I, I didn't say that. Nah. He's a bitch. Nino said it's either he's really stupid or really smart. So someone pull me up what he has said, and let's break this shit down. You know what I'm saying? People people used to call Isaac Newton Here it fucking is. crazy. U.S. News: Kanye West says Harriet Tubman never actually freed the slaves during his South Carolina campaign rally. This man went to one of the most racist states in America and said that Harriet Tubman did not free the slaves. You what what is genius about that, Nino? What the fuck is he doing? To get their vote. Fuck that. That, I'm I'm just saying, I'm once again. And you're you're willing. Hold on, Nino. And you're willing. And you're willing on your man on your real nigga. I'm not doing on your real nigga. I'm supporting it. On your real nigga to not call that man a bitch. I'm not saying he ain't no bitch. I never said that. I need you to call him that, bro. Oh, Kanye a bitch right now. You know what I'm saying? But once again, he could either he could either be a real bitch ass crazy motherfucker or he could be trying to be a fucking genius. Because once again, 6ix9ine is a bitch. But when you look at, at how the fuck he played that game, it was genius. Nigga, that's that hood shit. Nigga, this is America. This ain't the hood. And that's the problem. I'm just saying. And that's the and, it, hold, and that's the whole problem. We got motherfuckers looking at this as if this is, nigga, this is not the streets. Your livelihood and your future, your democracy, your republic, nigga, this is not a game. And that's why I'm saying vote for Joe Biden. So let me finish reading the quote. <clears throat> West held his first campaign presidential rally in North Charleston, South Carolina, and shared his thoughts on abortion, his relationship with Adidas, and Gap, and more. However, his most glaring statement was when he claimed abolitionist and political political advocate. I can't read political activist Harriet Tubman didn't free the slaves and had them go work for white people. What the fuck kind of thinking is that? Because this is the same nigga that said slavery wasn't a choice. Why the fuck does he keep doing this type of shit? What the fuck is up with this nigga, bro? He First, slavery is not a choice. Sound crazy. Then a nigga that freed from slavery. He sound crazy. What is genius about it, Nino? Because that's, that's bullshit, what you said, bro. bro. I that's said, bullshit, bro. I said. Now, he, now we trying to stand as a black man, bro. I'm not, I, like I said, as a let, black man, bro, that's bullshit. We're gonna let another nigga. If you let's say this, bro, it's me, you, fuck that. and Jay in the class with Kanye. Right. You gonna let that nigga raise his hand and say something without one of us? You know what I'm saying? Smacking him in the back of his head for saying that goofy ass shit. You was in oh, school. Uh, uh, what was we doing to them niggas if, like if that? If he says some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? He, no, gets, he, he, he you, not getting like, out that like, class like, right now. Come on, bro. Like you, you know we on his heels. I hate when a motherfucker say, hey, I'm woke. I'm a woke. I, I'm woke. And I ask you, okay, well, who who are you voting for and why? And you tell me I don't do politics or I ain't voting, bro. That shit a scam. You're a fucking, you're not woke. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You're an, an idiot. idiot, bro. And if it's a scam, bro. How come white folks keep on voting? How come shit keep working for them? How come shit keep on working for them? That's what I'm saying. Like, everybody can, yes, the system is rigged against us, but if you don't play in the system, the system will just stay rigged. And to be honest, last election cycle, the Latino voters outnumbered us black voters. That's also something to keep in mind. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, we want kind of crazy too. We want our black agenda to get across, but yet we there's gonna be vote. another group that will at some point outnumber us and we'll vote. 
I'm think, telling you, I black think, folks, to be we honest, need to get our we need to get our minds right. We got to stop listening to these motherfuckers who are telling you keep your black vote, you know, hijacked. You no, know, keep your black vote hostage. Don't do that shit. Dumb. White folks ain't kept their vote hostage in in, in, in hundreds years, of years. Not a nay nada. Not a nay nada. Years. Why ever, the fuck would you ever? That it makes bitch. no. That makes no fucking sense. That makes no sense. We got more to lose, bitch. Yeah. I, I'm gonna put it like this, bro. I, I will attribute part of our lack of growth in our community due to the fact that we don't play the game. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, I if agree. it, I appreciate that, bro. If it is a scam, if the system is rigged, why? How come we can't find a way to cheat the system? Play the game. Why we can't play the game and, and get that shit in our favor? If mama, we know it's for mama, the same mama, My mama been telling me since I was long, it was since I was young. Thank you.